My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. This is one of the most pristine cars to ever roll through our showroom. This car is immaculate, top to bottom. Everyone here is talking about it. I probably had three, four people at work here today say, oh my God, you have to see that Chevelle. Uh, body off frame restored, only seven miles since it's been finished. It's won some top awards. And I'm telling you, right down to the nuts and bolts, anywhere you look, immaculate this car is amazing it's a 396 four-speed air-conditioned car buckets console factory gauges even has a multiplex stereo in it so it's a really amazing car i can't wait to tell you all about it you can also go to volocars.com that's where you can read all the specs study all the pictures top to bottom and you want to see the bottom of this one uh, and that's where you find price tags on all the collector cars that we do offer for sale, volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on that bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, this car hasn't been on too many spins. He said it was on and off the trailer and taking the car shows. The guy owned it since 1980. So it was a one owner from 1980 till 2019. Uh, then a collector just had it and I bought it from him. But seven miles on the odometer and it's still spotless. It's not got cobwebs, it's not dirty or corroded. It's just glossy everywhere. So the body was off the frame, obviously. The whole bottom of the car is painted red just like this, slick as glass, all clean, beautiful metal. The entire chassis was taken apart and it's all gloss black. The frame and uh, suspension components, all painted gloss. Every little thing underneath, uh, the, the cotter pins, the clips, the nuts, the bolts, it's all been restored or replaced. All of the suspension, the bushings, ball joints, spring shocks, all replaced. Uh, it has what looks to me like a factory style uh, exhaust system, dual exhaust. Um, all bent real nice, installed nicely. The whole fuel system's new. The tank is shiny. It's got the straps, uh, stainless steel fuel line, sending unit, all that's replaced. Uh, it's drum brakes all around in 68. That's all rebuilt. Stainless brake lines. Uh, the whole emergency brake cable system, all new. You know, the cables, the clips, all that's shiny, clean. Uh, if you look up at the motor, it's spotless. The oil pan bolts, the drain plug, I mean, it's immaculate. Uh, the starter is all restored. Uh, the Muncie four speed that's in there, all restored. The linkage, the clutch, I mean, all of it just looks spotless. Uh, the drive shaft is gloss black, has new U joints. It has its original 12 volt rear end in the back with 307 Posi gears all painted gloss black uh, i would say you could eat off the bottom of this car but no you can't you, you don't want to get it dirty it's just immaculate under the car so the body just far better than it was when it was new the gaps are precise and square and flush it is literally red glass there's not a wave there's not there's not a problem area where it's shrinking or doing anything funny. I mean, every car has something, and I'm having a really hard time finding that something on this car. This metal is just perfect. I don't like to use the word perfect, but I did on this one. I, I can't find a thing. Look, the gap is spot on, uh, laser straight, laser straight that way too. And of course, all of the chrome, the handles, all the moldings, all the stainless vent window pillars, all of this stuff is shiny and immaculate and beautiful. The marker lights and emblems, uh, it's got the white stripe, it goes all around, and the bottom is blacked out. I think that's part of the Super Sport. 
the hood sits flush and square, the grill, uh, T3 headlights. I mean, everything up here is immaculate. And again, look how that fits, just fantastic. Correct antenna, all the glass is crystal clear. Vinyl top is pristine. The red line tires, I think I already told you, still has the nubs on the tread. There's no miles on them. It's got what we call the poverty wheels with the caps and it's all restored. Even up in the wheel wells is spotless. Uh, so they really don't get better than this one right here. Uh, just amazing. Tail lights, everything back here, uh, all beautiful and it's blacked out. That is part of the SS. So why don't we open it up? I'll show you inside the car and what's under the hood. All right, this trunk compartment is absolutely pristine. Underneath the trunk lid, the light works. The latch is restored. It's got the stickers. It's painted beautifully. The jam is painted beautifully. The rubber, new. The latch is cadmium plated. But the trunk compartment itself, Look how immaculate that is. Almost every car that comes in, they have the spatter in the spray can. It's all rough and bumpy. This was sprayed with a gun. It looks just like the factory finish. Look at the immaculate metal. I looked up in the quarter panels and I felt with my hand there's no cuts or splices or, or seams. No rust under the mat. The speakers. The nuts and bolts, even the shims. Now look at this spare. It's a matching brand new uh, red line. The rim is restored. The jack is all restored. This is an immaculate trunk compartment. And this is, this is how the whole car is. Everywhere you look. Fantastic. Now look at the door jams over there. It's painted as nice as most exteriors are. Uh, the latches and nuts and bolts, all that looks new. Door panels, all new. The armrests, the window cranks. Not only is everything new, but it all uh, was installed properly. Everything fits right. The whole dash is restored. Look at the chrome plastic. It's all shiny. That's all new. And that's what we call a roll tack. It's a roll tachometer in the middle. Factory gauges, they're all restored. The clock is working. Air conditioned car, the heater controls, all redone. Now, this is an AM FM, and this is the multiplex. It's really cool. It sounds like a, more like a modern car in here. The stereo sound is uh, amazing for 1968. Very expensive option back then. Hardly ever do they work. Uh, inside the glove box is spotless, not all dusty and old. The vents, I even looked up under the dash and it's all spotless. Uh, interior lights work, deluxe steering wheel. Now the seats aren't just reupholstered, they're recushioned as well. So they're nice and firm and that uh, gives you a nice fitting upholstery. Uh, the center console is all immaculate, has a Muncie a correct shifter. Then, of course, the back seat is all real nice, and all the seat belts are restored, too. They're immaculate. The backs of the seat, the trim, the, the light works on the back of the console, the ashtrays. Uh, and then you got the, the headliners tight as a drum. There's no wrinkles. I literally have not found anything yet that I would need to apologize for or make better. You, you couldn't make this car better. Look at that. Over restored because they weren't this glossy. Let's look underneath the hood. Look at the, the glass finished black paint, the restored latch, the hood insulation, uh, the hinges have the proper color, and then every component in here is restored uh, or replaced. It's a correct 396, 350 horsepower engine, 
and all the nuts and bolts and brackets and valve covers and stickers is all restored. It has GM hoses and clamps. Factory air conditioning system with a four speed. You don't find that combination too often. Spring clamp battery cables. If you were to show the car, you'd want to get a reproduction battery in here. Those don't last very long, so I understand why someone changed that. The firewall, the wiper motor, the cadmium plated brake booster. I mean, everything is just spotless in here the fan, the pulleys, the shroud, and it has the power steering, which is unique to 68. See the reservoir is way over here. Uh, that is correct. Anywhere you look, look down in any nook and cranny and it's not even dirty. So there you have it, <laughs> truly one of the best cars I've seen. I couldn't find anything to fault on this car and that's just what I had seen. Now the wires are all new, everything fits and shuts and feels just amazing. Hats off to the guy that restored this car, he did an incredible job. And it's red and a four speed and air and you got great options. It's a real super sport, right? Right in the VIN number in 1968 tells you it's a super sport. 69 and 70, you can't tell. We know this is a real one. It's also a factory red car, uh, Matador Red. So anyway, that's my impression. Go to volocars.com, plenty of ways to speak to the salesman. Uh, if you have questions or concerns, ask. They'll help you the best they can. They can help get this delivered to any driveway, and they can help you get financing as well. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the videos, which I really hope you do, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Excuse me. Click on that bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.